Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. One of the major events during Guild Week for Present 2012 will be Metropolis, a spectacular youth stage show involving hundreds of local young people to be held at the Guild Hall in front of 2,000 people on the 7th of September. This one-off event will be led and professionally produced by a team from the Duke's Playhouse in Lancaster, which has a long and successful history of working with youngsters in the performing arts across the North West. However, Preston's young people will be firmly in the driving seat as performers, writers, directors, costume designers, stage managers and front of house. Working with schools and youth clubs over the next few months, the project will develop to showcase the many talents of the city's youngsters at a time of Guild celebration. I was invited along to the Dukes to talk to Guy Christensen, Creative Learning Director, who is overseeing the project. Guy Christensen is Creative Learning Director at the Dukes Theatre Lancaster and has invited me here today to talk about the forthcoming huge Preston Guild production in the Guildhall. Guy, how exciting is it to be involved in a once every 20 years production? Oh, well, it's uh, phenomenally exciting. As you say there, Gary, it's uh, once every 20 years. Um, uh, and I feel very proud that the Dukes are a part of this uh, once in a lifetime experience. So, and how uh, did you become involved yeah. with City Council Preston Guild? Well, we um, here at the Dukes, we have uh, the Creative Learning Department, which is our young persons uh, specific department where we deliver training and participation and learning opportunities for young people across the whole county. Uh, and we'd recently been involved with the Blaze Cultural Olympian Programme, uh, supporting young people across the whole of Lancashire to engage in arts activity inspired by the Olympics. Uh, so on the back of that and work uh, that the, the Dukes had done, uh, we were approached by Preston Guild to see if we would be interested in facilitating this uh, youth extravaganza, as it was initially called. So you come with a really live uh, record of active participation, young people, productions... You've got a track record. Yeah, we certainly have. The department's been in existence for six years now. We deliver about 140 to 160 projects per year, engaging around 6,000 young people uh, in a variety of different activities. Equally, the Dukes, uh, as a lot of uh, your listeners will probably know, um, have been producing large-scale outdoor theatre productions for the last 25 years in Williamson Park. So we, we have a lot of understanding and expertise in uh, in putting together large pieces such as this. So if we were looking for anybody across the North West to coordinate a big event for Preston Guild, we couldn't? come to a better place well we'd, we'd like to think that yeah. so what exactly are you looking for from the young people of Preston uh, from the ages of 10 to tell us the age range and, and well, what you're seeking to put on we're looking for any young person aged 10 to 19 uh, who is interested in being a part of what will be a once in a lifetime part gig part theatre show part trade show part club event um, anyone who's got an interest in the arts, whether that be dance, theatre, music, writing, uh, or also interested in backstage, so working in stage management, directing, uh, or sound design, uh, to come along, get involved, um, uh, make this uh, your year to celebrate uh, the Guild. Uh, you'll be working with industry professionals, um, creating a one-off piece of performance, uh, which will hopefully be remembered uh, for generations to come. So we're here at, towards the end of April. The production is in Guild Week September. So what happens between now and that show night in September? Well, I might pass on to my colleague Jay uh, and ask him to talk a little bit about uh, the process between now and uh, now and then and what we're looking to do from a recruitment point of view. So Jay Walton, you're coordinating schools and colleges and young people. Yeah, I'm the young people coordinator for this absolutely fantastic event that we're producing here at the Dukes. Um, and what we're looking for, as Guy just said, is a, a group of young people who are extremely creative and imaginative to come together with these professional artists on Taste the Weekends throughout May to produce a, an extremely good and competitive... There's Lawrence with his <laughs> One Direction. <laughs> That's class, Lawrence. So these young people that you want to take part are at the moment sitting in schools, the, colleges, at this moment maybe in time, wandering the streets. They're sat at school... <laughs> On the street corners, with the mates, stood there, and people are thinking, young people, oh, this is all they do, and that's not that's not the case. I know that there's young people out there who are extremely creative, who have an extreme amount of talent, 
and this project is there for them to come and join us and prove to them that they they have exceptional talent and they, they can really produce something that will create a legacy for the Preston Guild for the next 20 years. So you have Preston College as your base between now and production time and the workshops are throughout May so people need to come along when throughout May? Uh, well each weekend during, during May we're going to be delivering these taster sessions. Uh, we're encouraging everybody to contact the Dukes, the Dukes to register their interest mm -hmm. um, and so they can simply contact either myself or Jay at creativelearning at dukes-lancaster.org or go on our website which is uh, dukes-lancaster.org um, and you can get further information you just need to register your interest uh, and then we'll invite you along uh, to one of these weekends in May um, from there we're hoping to engage around 600 young people so uh, it'll be an event and experience in and of itself so even if people uh, engage in it initially and then don't wish to continue uh, I can guarantee they'll have a fantastic day with brilliant people um, anyone who is interested in continuing in the process will then work with us on two weekends in July helping to shape the production uh, working with uh, award-winning writer Lawrence Wilson who's our writer on this program uh, and then uh, we'll be inviting that team a team of about 100 150 to work with us at Preston College during the summer term, during August the 20th to the 30th, uh, where we make the show. We're going to make the show in Preston College uh, and then transfer it down to, uh, to Preston Guild for the 7th for performance night. You mentioned one person there, the writer, but you were telling me before you've got a really talented team of people backing you up on this. Yeah, we've got exceptional talent on this one, Gary. We were very, very pleased. Um, we have Joe Harrison, who's a musical director from Manchester, who has uh, enormous experience in doing similar types of, uh, of, of productions uh, and is interested in how we can combine uh, genres such as hip-hop, uh, grime, dubstep, along with trumpeting, uh, electric guitars and samba beats. Like so uh, quite interested how he's going to do that, but um, he, we're in very safe hands with him. Uh, we have Ruth Tyson-Jones, who is a choreographer with 25 years experience uh, and has delivered uh, lots of big projects for the Olympics in the past, lots of outdoor theatre with huge um, uh, companies. Um, so she's going to be on taking care of our large-scale choreography, how you move 150 mm -hmm. people around the stage. Um, <laughs> and Alison Heffernan, who is a, uh, a designer who's worked at the Dukes for a number of, number of years uh, and has produced um, some, some visually stunning um, uh, sets. So, yeah, so we feel very uh, excited about having that team. Louis Ingham, the associate director um, of the project, is our, one of our in-house directors here at the Dukes uh, and has been heralded for some brilliant performances, namely Jim Cartwright's two in October last year uh, and currently is doing the Unsociables uh, here at the Dukes which is a, uh, a one-off show I get a chance mm. to see it. So I was involved in Guild Pageant 92 which was very much looking back at the history of Preston with only a slight nod to the future. You've got a concept already for the performance which I believe is very much based in the future. Is there anything you can tell us that won't give too much away? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can give you a hint to it. I think, cool, Gary, um, the mystery. the project is called Metropolis, mm -hmm. um, and some people might immediately think about the Franz Lang film and think, oh, okay, so what, what is Metropolis? Uh, we're quite interested. Uh, that uh, this will be the first year Preston is celebrating the Guild as a city um, and also the first Guild in the digital era so we're interested in how we combine the idea of uh, what artists how artists survive, sell, produce their work in a digital um, a digital world and what the, the, the near future is going to be like mm. uh, for the Prestonians um, and for pr young Prestonian uh, artists Preston Guild is one of those times where people make memories that last a lifetime. For young people, looking back on childhood, memories are really important. So is this perhaps an opportunity to make one that's going to last for the rest of a lifetime? Ideally, yes. Uh, ideally, we want young people to look back on this uh, when they're in their 30s, 40s, and think, yeah, that was a... Uh, uh, that was a hopefully a, a, a point of significant change in their lives. Maybe uh, a time where they first made the decision that actually they recognise themselves as an artist um, and potentially be turned on to working into the art, working in the world of the arts or the cultural industries. So hopefully there'll be that element for some young people. Um, and then for others, uh, I will look back with it with, um, uh, with, with glee as to see if any of our predictions about what the future may look like have come true. Or, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we do, yeah, we do. I want to... We we'll probably go back to feudal England or something, so it looks completely different to what we imagined.